Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is a King's Tutor. If it's the first time of joining us, ensure you like, you comment, please share this video, okay? Um, let's get to more students. Now, we want to continue our series on the subsidiary books of account. Now, we've seen um, a different aspect. We've seen the purchases day book, the purchases return. We've seen the sales day book. Now, we want to see the sales return. Now, if you have not seen those videos, I'll drop it up here so you watch that, okay, before this, and so that you enlighten yourself more on the series. Okay, now the sales return journal is also known as what we call the return inwards day book. Okay, now this is a book used to record um, item that is returned back to you by the customers. And most time you might sell some item to the customer. Okay, so on getting the on the goods and taking it, some of the customer might discover that some of the items they bought was um due to um was given to that was given to them is um, bad or some might um, discover that it is um the wrong color or the wrong type so most time they might return the goods back to you okay that is a seller so once they return the book goes back to you now we record that in the word the um, return inwards day book or what we call the sales return journal okay so it is very simple. So the sales return um, inwards um, journal is the sales return journal is the book you use in recording the goods that comes back and that is that was sent back by the what the customer. Okay. Now in this book, you record immediately the goods is returned back. You record it what immediately. Okay. So we have also the format for the sales return um, journal. The sales return journal have the same format we've seen for others also that comprise of um, the date, um, also the particulars, the particulars, then the folio, and also the what? The amount. Okay, the dates set to show the date at which the customer returned back the goods. At which you return back the goods, the particular date, and the particular shows the name of that particular customer and the list of item he or she bought and the discount that was give to, given to them. Okay, that's the particular. Now the follow shows a cross referencing. I've talked about this before. It shows where that particular item of returns would be what shown in another account for easy accessibility. Why the amount showed the amount of that word particular item that was returned back. Okay, so. Once we are done recording, now the final amount will be posted to the return inwards account. Return inwards account. That's the final amount here. So in the draw in the ledger, we'll have to open the return inwards account. The return inwards account. Where we have to debit everything, debit the total. So we'll have to call that sundries after this and also the particular customer that returned the goods let's say um they returned from customer a from customer a so that date the written return inwards the particular amount and also if customer b also purchased return inwards the particular amount okay so the customer's account in the ledger will be credited while the return inwards account in the ledger will be what debited as by receiving the goods back okay so we are going to see a question see a question where we can solve this and the question says write up the sales return book of femi and sons for the month of august 2019 and post to the ledgers august 3 Return from Roger Miller. That's the name of the customer that returned. One bag of sugar at 40 naira each. Three plates of three plates at 140 each. Then August 30, return from Muibat. Three shoes at 65 naira each. Two packet shirts at 13 naira each. Trade discount at 5%. Okay? Trade discount at 5%. Now want to record this in the return inwards um, journal. Okay, so what we have to do now is the name of the owner, which is Femi and Sons. Femi and Sons, All right? The sales return journal. 
or what we call the return inwards. Okay, so we we'll draft this. Now this becomes my date. This becomes a particular, this a folio. The folio this is the amount. So we have dates here, particulars, folio, and we have amount, and also amount. Okay. Now the first one said in August third, August third, August third. Now from return from Muyibat from Roger Miller. So we can write here return from Roger Miller. And the first one, one bag of sugar at 14 naira each. So we have one bag of sugar at 14 naira each. Okay, so one times 14 naira will give us 40 here. The other one, three plates at 140 each. So we'll have three plates at 140 each. So it will not be three times 140. So we we'll have 140 times three. Will give us 420. So 420 plus 40 will give us 460. Okay, it was 460. That's the first one. The second one in August 30. Return from Muibat. Return from Muibat. Okay, return from Muibat. Three shoes at sixty-five naira each. Three shoes at sixty-five naira each. So to do that now, it is three times sixty-five, and that will give us one nine five. Okay. The next one, two packet shirts. Two packet shirts. At 13 naira each. At 13 naira each. So it is 2 times 13. What is what? 26. Okay. So if we add up this, 195 plus 26. 195 plus 26 to give us 221. Now they said trade discount. At five percent, so they give them a trade discount at five percent. So we we'll now have so less trade discounts as five percent is five over hundred times the total here is two to one over one. Okay, so if we do that, if we do that, we have. Our discount as 11 okay 11 so this minus 11 2 2 1 minus 11 will give us 210 210 so when you add up 460 plus 210 460 plus 210 it will give us 670 so a 670 is what we'll go to return inwards account 670 okay that is how to do that now let's solve let's record that item in the let's record in the ledger okay in the ledger now we will now have a return inwards account Okay, the return inwards account and the return inwards account will have on August 30,
in the return inwards account we will have August 30 sundries that's accumulation of all is 670 okay is 670 why the first one will be for Roger Miller Roger Miller the date of his return is August 3rd so I have August 3rd or we'll have returns or return inwards how much is it 460 okay why the last one will not be for Muibat Muibat and it's on the 30th so I have August 30th return inwards how much is it it is 210 okay 210 so we'll close that account and it has balanced automatically okay so that is how to prepare the sales return journal and um the ret or the return in what's the book okay now we have other series on this okay please ensure if you're joining us for the first time please like the video like comment and um, share this video okay now there's a video i want to recommend for you that you have to watch before this so that you can have a valid knowledge on this okay now look at the video here this video ensure you watch that now let's go let's go watch that this video watch it now thank you very much